We're here at the seaplane dock and that's our plane over there about to go on Isle Royale. Is this your first seaplane experience? It is. All right, we'll see how it goes. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Stop for traffic light. Okay, we have arrived at Rock Harbor and we're about to start our trip. Woo! I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight we took a little detour to Susie's cave. It's not far away at all, and we're gonna check it out. You see her feet, she slowly emerges from the void. A feral lady. <laughs> I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out. So we have reached three mile campground. This is our lunch spot. The water looks so cute. First lunch on Ayer Royale. Cheers. We're going to Mount Franklin next. If this trail has been difficult to navigate, we've been going down, but we're going up to Mount Franklin, so. Oh, we see people. We found these nice people. We're both trying to go to the same place, yet we met from coming from different directions. Yeah. yeah we got to this beautiful ridge. Uh, haven't found the trail yet. It is a ridge, and it's called the Greenstone Ridge. So we're somewhere. Now we're trying to find the trail, but I don't know. Just gotta go through. Go through I don't know what, and then we'll be back down the trail hopefully. After some intense bushwhacking, we finally got onto the trail. Oh my god, we wasted a little bit of time. We still don't know where it went wrong, um, but we're gonna keep going. <laughs> There's some good stuff that way too. We're discussing if I might have a sinus infection. <laughs> We made it to Ojibwe Tower. We made it the 2.8 miles from Mount Franklin. Oh, my hand is shaking. Um, and, we'll have, and we'll have another 1.7 miles back down to Daisy Farm. Yes. Uh, this is the tallest point on the island. You can see around the island, I believe. So we'll go up there and have a snack before we go down to our campsite. There's some Canada smoke happening, uh, but we'll try our best here. So, laterally, you can see both sides. Um, and you can see pretty far out. I think Rock Harbor is over there. This is a, a little bit scary. All right, we finally got our tent set up, and then we're going to go jump in the water. The swim was super refreshing and we are now um, by the dock cooking dinner. Dara is filtering the water. The sun has just set. Okay, so it's the second morning and it started raining unexpectedly last night. And it's still raining so we'll film with my phone. So we are on our way to Chicken Bone Lake first and then McCargo Cove. Uh, we're going through the ridge a lot, up and down, up and down, so a lot of hills, but the scenery is really good. We hiked two miles out from Daisy Farm. We still have four plus miles to go until we reach there. Um, I think we're a little pooped out from yesterday, but we're trying our best here. Just going one step at a time. Found some antlers. This is an inland lake we found. <laughs> We've reached a really pretty viewpoint. Hopefully that lake over there is Chicken Bone Lake where we're going to. I wanna see if I can take a picture of that. I think it's been clearing out a little bit. 
Mm. They can see a little bit. From when we start sitting here? Yeah. So we're in a forest of aspen trees and Daria, the earth major here, has a fun fact. Um, so all of these aspen trees are probably actually one tree because they're all connected by one single root underground and it's actually possible that um, all of the aspen trees on this whole island are the same singular tree. That's the coolest fact of the day. This looks like a thimbleberry, and this will be evidence if it's not, and, uh, yep, here we go. Mmm, tastes good and edible. We've hit East Chicken Bone Campground, and it's a very small but pretty campground, and we just have two miles to go until McCargo Cove. The sun is out, we have two miles to go, life is good. We're here at McCargo Cove. We saw a fox go through our campsite, so we are hanging up um, our food so it doesn't get into. But yeah, after that, we're gonna go change and, per usual, jump in the lake. We're not going to harm you, but we won't feed you either. Okay, bye bye fox. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> it was downpouring really bad, so we got a shelter and now we're eating breakfast. Nice, how's that apple cider? It's pretty good, I'm not gonna spill it today. <laughs> We're en route to West Chicken Bone. It's a really nice day and the lake is beautiful. The Thimbleberry Hunter. Oh, for me, thank you. Mmm, yummy! Is it flooded? We have hit Lake Ritchie. Such a beautiful lake. Cheers. We finally made it to Mosky Basin. We're glad we made it in one piece. Uh, do you have anything to say, Daria? No, I'm tired. Daria right here wanted to jump in. We decided not to. She's air drying after trying to shower. <laughs> it's so cold right now. Okay, we are officially leaving Mosky Basin onwards to Daisy Farm. This has been the most scenic campsite so far, we think. All right, onwards we go. We accidentally got lost on our way to Daisy Farm and we just bushwhacked our way back. Um, the dead cat mic cover has is a casualty now, so if you now hear wind noises, um, it's because of that. But we're glad we made it on trail and we're on route to Daisy Farm. But it don't make me happy.
We finally got back to Rock Harbor. It's been a long trek and we can't wait to go shower and eat. Let's get those burgers. The lodge was closed. Ah. But it's okay. Um, we're finishing all we brought, so we're happy. Good morning! It's our last morning here on Isle Royale. Uh, we woke up kind of silly goofy. <laughs> we have Daria here, <laughs> manning double trekking pole, double backpacking bag. <laughs> our last breakfast here on Isle Royale. Hopefully, if we don't get stranded by this fog. We are currently painting here at our little spot. The sun is coming up. We hope our seaplane will be able to get here successfully. Here's an update. Uh, we were supposed to get on the plane at 3 um, to head out of here, but there was a technical malfunction with the plane, so we might not be able to fly at all. There are also a lot of people who have been here since yesterday or who were supposed to leave this morning who weren't able to leave. <laughs> so if it does thunderstorm tomorrow, we could be stuck here until Saturday. We're still here at the shelter. Um, the seaplane was malfunctioning and no one was able to get on that plane, but it's a beautiful day, so we're not gonna waste it. Uh, change into your swimsuit and we're gonna go jump into the water. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. When your seaplane gets delayed, you rent a canoe. Um, it's a beautiful day out here. So we got this nice canoe and honestly, I don't have a complaint in the world. It is so beautiful out here. Close your eyes. Oh, such a nice day. Exploring some islands. Yeah, all of them are focused, looking under the water. It's really sunny there, and then if we look back here, the fog is actively rolling into us. There is a seaplane landing right there! Coming out of the fog! Cheers to another night on the island. That's a solid burger right here. <laughs> We're really happy. <laughs> Good morning again! We're in the shelter today. Uh, we shared a shelter with two lovely strangers yesterday. We had some fun talks. This morning we woke up. It is thunderstorming outside. Uh, we're supposed to leave on the seaplane at 1, but it's pretty chaotic right now with so many people being stranded. Um, so we really hope and pray that we will get out of this island. We're painting again here at Tobin Harbor and our 11 a.m. friends are leaving now of the safe flight. Uh, so the pilot came to us and said that our 1 p.m. flight might be the most affected by a thunderstorm rolling in, so we might not be able to leave. But we're just chilling here to see if the cloud blows by. Oh yeah, the weather is definitely not on our side. 12.30, plane leaves at 1. We'll see if this rolls over. The plane didn't come and we were completely drenched in the rain. In desperation to get off the island, we waited by the boat, praying that someone didn't show up. When the captain let us on, the entire boat clapped for us. I cannot express the excitement we felt knowing that we were finally headed home. This trip was a great finale to my Michigan adventures, and I promise exciting plans are underway. As always, I will catch you on the next one.